What's going on guys? Welcome back to we'll go back to another video. In today's video, we're actually gonna be working on the 135. We're gonna try to perfect it. We're gonna go ahead and clean wash the car, uh, fix both bumpers, front and rear. Your man didn't do a great job on the bumpers. Bumpers are absolutely the hardest part, but he also didn't do a great job himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to fix everything to the best of my ability. I'm gonna take off the bumper again and uh, just try to perfect it as best as I can, even though I don't know what's been going on with me recently, but I need to focus more on builds. I absolutely need to do that. Recently, I've been just kind of taking a step back. Ever since I got sick, I've been literally just trying to take it a step back and just try to enjoy life a lot more, which is great. But I also need to get back to the roots of my channel, which is saving BMW. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to repair this and fix every little flaw with the front and rear. The rest of the car is pretty much perfect. Front and rear does need to get fixed, those little flaws. And then hopefully tomorrow morning, they'll be taking it out to the exhaust shop to get the quad tips installed. So today, the goal is to get the diffuser on. The goal is to fix all my wrap imperfections. As you guys can see, terrible. We got some there. We got some bubbling up over here we got it we got to stick that down properly we got some right there this whole car is filthy as you guys can see haven't driven the car even touched the car in so long and that's because the exhaust i don't really want to i don't want the exhaust pretty much burning off the new bumper but you know i, I could get the exhaust work done if i just installed the diffuser so your man just needs to get to it these are also brand new wheels and tires that i haven't even taken advantage of and uh you know i really need to i need to fix little wrap imperfections right here just like that fix the front bumper i don't need to remove the front bumper the front bumper i can fix everything as it is how it sits on the car but the rear bumper does need to come off because we need to install that diffuser so yeah fix all the issues with the car make it perfect wash it make it beautiful and then get the exhaust work done so this car will be absolutely amazing because again it has full bolt on it just needs a tune it just needs a tune to make it 500 horsepower it'll have 500 horsepower clean title m sport 135 and it's gonna have the 1m body kit with the quad tip exhaust i think that's gonna be absolutely insane Alright guys, so we just put on the diffuser. Believe it or not, that was actually very easy. I put a few zip ties back here just for the heck of it to keep it on there because I cut off this piece that went right here. That's all that I did. So basically this piece you guys saw me pretty much multi-tool off. It was right here and it was definitely in the way. So I pretty much just cut that off and bada bing, bada bang. But now it has no support where screws are going to be bolted down right here. So I said for now, um, I'm going to just put two zip ties or three zip ties on each side. At least make sure this thing ain't going nowhere. The fitment's absolutely perfect. So I don't know why why I thought it was super hard. Um, it would be super hard if you had this on, but if you actually had this off, it bolts on perfectly. Even the screw holes on it perfectly. But I decided to just put zip ties. I mean, geez Louise, I'm super happy with the fitment. Now let's go ahead and just cover these up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just cover it up with anything and uh, we'll throw in the bumper. Alright guys, we're gonna have to take the car outside to show you guys. We finally got the diffuser on. I, we even cut up this little portion right here. So uh, as you guys can see, this little plate, ah, this thing right here, we had to cut it because uh, we need the exhaust to be routed here. If you don't cut it, the exhaust shop's gonna cut it and they're gonna charge you for that. So might as well just cut that yourself so they can actually route the exhaust all the way back there. This is probably gonna cost me about $300 roughly. It's not gonna be cheap, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. It's gonna make this car look absolutely insane. I'm super happy it actually went on. It actually went on quite easy, guys. My biggest issue was, was that little piece in the middle. Just cut that off, makes life 20 times easier. I even added in these little black things right here. So uh, it gives it a super cool looking black effect right down there. It looks like it blacks out inside. So that looks, that looks awesome. Honestly, really pleased with the car. The car is super, super, super filthy. Rims are filthy. Car is absolutely filthy. So we're gonna have to go out for a wash in a little bit. But before we do that, we do need to fix the front bumper as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car around and uh, show you guys the rear and also start working on the front. Guys, <laughs> that looks so much better. 
we need to wash the car. But without further ado, let's go ahead and fix the front end of the wrap, and then we can go ahead and uh, start washing up the car. So you guys can see I did a big patch right here. It's not crazy noticeable unless I pretty much call it out. Like if you're right here, you'll never notice it, but there is a crazy patch right there. It's just really hard to do that spot in there. I even called up my friend that wraps cars. He said we would actually have to do that in a second piece as well. So that's not a normal, thing to do it's kind of a hard thing to do so don't judge me i'm not a professional that's why i don't charge people that's why i don't have a business of wrapping cars at least not yet because i'm actually thinking about that loki anyhow i need to get a lot better but we're gonna go ahead and fix everything in the front end because it's starting to irritate me all right guys so i just got the rest of the garbage here the rest of the garbage in the trunk i'm gonna swing by my uh my brother's friend's place to drop off the heat can because they're wrapping their e46 m3 and i'm gonna be heading over to the what, what, the car wash the car wash so we can actually wash this car this car's absolutely filthy needs a wash <laughs> all right guys just pulled up to the wash uh let's sit you guys up this thing is absolutely filthy full time lapse mode Guys, the car is finally 100% cleaned up. Let's head back home. So we just made it home and the car looks so freaking good. So yeah, here is the booty of the car. We definitely need that quad exhaust going right now. It looks like a Prius. Doesn't sound like one, but it looks like one. So we do have to get that done ASAP, but it does look so freaking good. I love these wheels and tires. Oh my God, Goodyear tires, beautiful VMR rims, and the caliper just looks so good with it. It's missing these emblems. I actually put them on, but I guess they flew off at one point. I have no idea. Anywho, so in terms of imperfections, we still need to get the grills on here. Um, I don't know, should we just leave the cutouts for the fog lights or should we actually fill those in? And once we get the exhaust on this car, we're gonna be putting it up side by side with the i8. I definitely wanna see. This thing so far won the 335 and the, uh, the 435, but this thing is pretty much pushing some insane numbers, plus it's a little rocket. So I do think this one's gonna outrun this one, but I'm just wondering by how much. Again, I don't wanna risk it just yet. I don't wanna burn off this brand new bumper I got on, this new diffuser I just got on, the new brackets and everything. We don't wanna mess it up again. So hopefully tomorrow morning, we'll get all that installed. So without further ado, hope I see you guys tomorrow morning. So uh, peace out. And this is the next day, so we're out in the garage, all uh, you know, out and about. So we have the 135 out there just chilling. We're gonna be taking it down to the exhaust shop, actually with my mom, I'm gonna be taking her car because I'm gonna be dropping her off somewhere. So we're gonna take both those cars to the exhaust shop, then I'm gonna get in her car, we're gonna take her somewhere, drop her off, and I'm gonna come right back here. So we're gonna hopefully get this exhaust work done. I'm hoping the new owner is gonna allow it. The old owner did it for me before, but uh, we'll see how it works with the new owner. I'm gonna try to say exactly what the other guy did, but I hope he'll be, you know, He'll do it. All right, guys, so we just made it to Specialized Exhaust. Again, they did my car last time. I'm hoping to do it again. They're working on a limo or something, apparently. Uh, <laughs> I'm just really hoping they can do this car right now. So, uh, this is moments later. I had to drop off my mom, and uh, yeah, me and my brother now are in the car, in the i8, gotta enjoy the car. I love this thing to death. Uh, so we're gonna head down right now to the exhaust shop and pick up the, uh, pretty much the 135 with the full exhaust done, which I'm pretty excited about. Hopefully it's gonna be roughly about $300. If they say anything over that, I'm gonna have to start, you know, like, I'm gonna be like, no, 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 no. We talked around 300, so that's the goal. Um, obviously, 300 for a muffle delete's a lot, but they're not just doing a muffle delete. They're rerouting a quad tip exhaust for that car, so it's a lot of work. I, it's definitely worth the $300. The car should look absolutely insane. Imagine the quad tip on the 135, dude. It's gonna sound insane. The guy's gonna drive it home, um, and then after that, I'm gonna go pick up my mom again. So hopefully, we can go check out the car. Hopefully, it sounds really good. Hopefully, we can give it a few rips on the way home because now it shouldn't burn off the bumper. Yeah, I was, this guy was gonna rip it off right as soon as we put on the new one. Well, the thing is, okay, so the only time I ripped off last time was because I was ripping it for like an hour straight. Yeah. So one little rip, it wasn't gonna do anything. Yeah, so yeah. anyhow, uh, we'll catch you guys when we actually get to the exhaust shop. All right, guys, so we just got here to Specialized Exhaust. I can literally see the 135 right there. We're about to check out the exhaust and we're about to go pay to get the keys. I am super st- oh, you, oh, that thing's sticking out kind of far out, though. Oh, actually? It's nice. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. It looks pretty nuts, I'm not gonna lie. Dang! 
<laughs> Dude, that does look crazy though. Oh my God, look at this. Look at that, look at that tip. That thing's sticking out a little too far though. All right, let's go ahead and go pay and get our car real quick. All right guys, finally got the keys to the one. Dude, guys, these tips look insane. They did a, oh my God. Bro, that sounds so good. No more rattling noises either. Oh my God, all right, send it. <laughs> oh, it sounds crazy. Oh, we're almost out of gas too. Oh shit. But that's good though, that's good. All right, let's take this puppy home. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. We do have a little bit of a rapid perfection up here. Damn, all right, all right, all right. Let's head out, guys. Oh, buddy, check it out, boys. Damn, that car looks good. Oh, damn, looks like we need to fix one of the tail lights on it. Look at that. Sun's up with one of the tail lights, but uh, oh my God, guys, that looks insane. Absolutely gorgeous. What the heck? All right, guys, our brother is saying that uh, the turn signal is like stuck or something. Like, I hope they didn't break something. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, for some reason, the lights were hard, but now it looks like it's working. So, uh, all right, well, I guess we'll take it home and we'll see. Give it a few more revs. Make sure it's in park. <laughs> oh, this car looks so good. Oh, my God. Give it a few more. Oh my God! How is the how is the drone? It's it's not annoying at all. It's perfect. It was better than when it was, right? It was so much better, dude. That's so sick. All right, guys. Well, I'm super stoked about that. There's this one lady I felt bad for. She saw me holding the camera and recording this car, and she was stopping by as if she's like thinking I was trying to call the cops on her. But no, she was just trying to record the i8. Um, she thought it was super sick, and then I started recording my brother's. I mean, this car. Uh, but she thought I was actually recording her car. Anywho, all that being said, we are good. I'm super happy with 135. Let's go ahead and take it home. I gotta go pick up my mom. So let's go ahead and uh, I see you guys when we actually. Actually, no, I don't wanna see you guys when we get home. I'm just going to get a few more clips on the ride home. At this point, guys, we just need to make sure we get the tune on point because once we get the tune and all the parameters adjusted, uh, perfectly. This car should be pushing about 500 to the wheels, um, so I'm pretty stoked. All right, yeah, what'd you get? Check engine. Damn, N54 live. Man, I haven't even had this car for a full day yet. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So uh, what does it say? Like, uh, we got an engine malfunction. Engine. Engine operating at reduced output. Possible to continue, drive with caution. Uh, system checked at local BMW. Okay, so keep the car on. Let's go down to AutoZone and just plug in the code reader from them and just see what it could possibly be. Yes, sir. All right, let's head over there. All right, guys, we got the 135 right here, the i8 here at AutoZone. So we're just gonna plug in the code reader. I think this is because of the Catless downpipes. I think it's basically uh, something to do with the O2 sensors. I pretty much just want to use their code reader because it pretty much tells you exactly the issue. I love it, and it's basically, it's, it's for free. You can just swing by, plug it in, super easy diagnostic. Uh, they have it here at AutoZone whenever you have a check engine light, so it's perfect. So I do think it is that, but let me know down below, guys, if it is the O2 sensors because of the downpipes, is there a way to fix this? I don't know, like, is there a way to bypass it? I know on the 435, you can use boot mode or something, or I think something to bypass the O2 sensor. But yeah, let me know if it is the O2 sensor. I have countless downpipes, so how can we fix this issue? Come on, come on, read, read, read. OBD2, bada bing, bada. What the heck, this thing's taking forever. All right guys, the code reader doesn't wanna work, unfortunately, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and just take this home, plug in Carly, hopefully Carly can figure it out. If not Carly, <clears throat> this thing does have a JB4, so we'll use um, the actual JB4 to tell us what the issue is. I have a feeling it's the Catalyst downpipes. Let's head home, figure it out. All right guys, I'm about to hook up the i 8 on the charger because I take full advantage of the fuel economy on this thing. And then of course, we have the N54 money pit. I'm just kidding. It's definitely, the thing is with this car guys, you put everything for preventative maintenance. We did all the belts. We did the belt support, like the guard that actually protects the serpentine belt from going inside the engine. We did all the maintenance on this car, including the oil pan gaskets, which is the probably the biggest job you could possibly do on this car other than the turbos. And then of course, all your filter housing gaskets, coolant, everything. It's like brand new in this car. You guys can hear it sounds super healthy too. 
This car, literally, I was designing it to be a track car, healthy, ready to go, but I, I, I don't know what our plans are for this pretty soon because we are going to be trying to get an M car and possibly another supercar on the channel. So we'll have to see the plans for this car. But this issue is, I'm really kind of like, I really want to know what it is because I still want to be able, I want to know, is it because of the O2 sensor or is it something else? I, I really hope it's because of the O2 sensor and it's something that can be fixed. A lot, I'm sure a lot of people do downpipes, so I want to know how do I avoid this um, and how do I clear this light because I don't want to just turn it off. As soon as you turn it off, it just goes away. So I don't want to do that. Look what just came in. So this is the box for the grills. Literally, we're going to have everything to complete this car. I'm so excited about it. So uh, let's go ahead and throw on the grills and go ahead. We have Carly, our code reader right now, and uh, go ahead and diagnose the issue. All right, guys, it's a 1 Series 2010 Connect. Uh, yep, connect adapter. So here's all of our codes. Uh, potential consequences, quality control, valve signal, uh, fill pressure sensor. So we have a bunch of random things and we can't really tell which one it is. So we're gonna have to just clear the, uh, clear the code and then see what comes back the next time we drive this car. But uh, ha, unfortunately, we are gonna have to clear the codes. There's too many codes on this car to really distinguish what the actual issue is. This is probably because of the battery probably died a couple times, so it throws a bunch of problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear it and uh, I'll go ahead and drive this another day. I, I don't wanna pick up my mom in this car and then have an issue. So I probably have to pick her up one of those other cars or the 435, uh, but yeah. All right guys, after clearing all the codes and running the codes one more time, this is the only code that came back up. Fuel pressure sensor, electric power reduction. Uh, so that's something that can possibly happen. That's exactly what happened to us. So I don't know if it could be this. I heard this is a very common code for every N54. So is that a problem or should we run the car a little bit longer? The check engine gone, light is obviously uh, gone because we cleared the codes, but uh, that's the only code we have right now. So yeah, we're probably gonna have to end up diagnosing this car later, but um, so the next thing is that I really wanna do to this car, it's literally gonna perfect the car other than the fog lights because I don't really know if I'm gonna put in the fog lights. I think it looks good as it is just leaving it. Um, but the next thing is, is obviously the grills. The grills that came on the car, Jonathan painted them, they were chrome. And when you paint chrome, it starts to peel and it just looks terrible. So I went ahead and got some F chassis grills. Check these out. They're gonna look so good on the car. So yeah, three, two, one. And just like that, guys, check out the F-style chassis grills. They look super good, but they actually come out so easily. So I don't know why, like the fitment's really awesome. Again, I got these from eBay. Unfortunately, Keys Motors supposed to not have these, so I had to cop these from eBay. Um, but they fit really nicely, but they come out so easily. So I might have to actually uh, make some tabs from behind to clip it in better. But uh, guys, finally, this car just looks absolutely insane with the new grills and then the quad tip in the rear really makes the rear end of the car. Even adding these little black flaps back here to really give it kind of a black accent right there and oh my God. Anywho guys, if you guys can let me know what's going on with that light, if you guys possibly know what it is, it, it started happening ever since I did the downpipes. So literally, as soon as you did the downpipes, it started doing it maybe every couple hundred miles, maybe every 200 miles. So if you guys know what that is, please let me know down below. But without further ado guys, cop some merch if you guys wanna support your boy, save a BMW. We're gonna, we're gonna be saving another BMW pretty darn soon, I can tell you that much. Trust me and believe me, one's coming on the channel really soon. Without further ado guys, I have to go pick up my mom. So I love you guys so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have words.